in this section the questions are with a single letter pattern or maybe sometimes pair of letters or even a group of letters the terms in the series follow a certain pattern based on the positions of the letters with respect to the english alphabet we need to decode the pattern and find the missing term or the wrong term there are few things to do before we get into the topic the first thing is memorize the alphabet positions very very important the next thing is drill the alphabets left to right even from right to left this gives you more command over the alphabet and makes your solving process easy here we have the first question the alphabets are t r p n l what do you think the first observation is the alphabets are decreasing now are there any alphabets missing yes after l we have actually m then n then o then p then q r then s and t so the difference between the alphabet positions is 2 so if we take these two difference 2 2 2 so obviously even it has to be 2 so l before l we have k before k we have j then before j it is i and before i it is h therefore the answer is j and h let's try one more look at this we have a i p v a e it's easy if you can write down the positions the position of a is 1 i is 9 p is 16 v is 22 A is one, E is five. Now, if we take the difference, this is eight. It's increasing by eight, and over here, it's increasing by seven. Here, it is increasing by six. How about here? So after V, we have W X Y Z. Then after that, it is starting with A. So again, here difference is five, and this is four. Now, what do you think? This has to be plus three. Then after E. f g h so that's the answer sometimes you see double letters now can you make out something in this if you look at the first positions here it is a then b then c so what do you think it should be over here obviously it has to be d how about here i j k what about here it has to be l you're right and then sometimes you see three letters now any observation yes these are collective letters so d e f h i j m n o so even these three letters will be in a sequence that's the observation now look at the difference of these two this is plus 4 from h to m this is plus 5 so it has to be plus 6 so from m go for the sixth position that will be s now we already know this has to be in sequence therefore this will be s t and u i hope you are clear with this and sometimes instead of letters they may give you a word look at this perpendicular look at the second word is there anything missing yes the first alphabet last alphabet have been struck off now from second to third the first and the last is struck off what do you think what we'll do is we'll strike off the first and the last so what is left out p e n d i c u that's the answer this is an easy topic practice well all the best